Before we get into the video, guys, as you know, we're on a race to 1 million subscribers before the end of the year. And you guys can help out with that. If you're one of the 48.9% of people who are watching my videos and you're not subscribed, please go down below the channel right now. Press the subscribe button. And while you're at it, press the bell as well so you're always notified when I upload a brand new video. I appreciate y'all. The support you guys have been showing me is insane. Can't thank you guys enough. Enjoy the video. Yo, what is up, guys? In the last video, we finished off at Champion 3 Division 2 at 1436 MMR. I'm pretty sure Grand Champ in 2v2 is 1515 MMR, if I'm not mistaken. It's not 1500 on the dot. I think it's 1515 to be exact. So we are uh, probably, I'd say, two more videos away. This one and one more if we win every single game. But we could run into some god tier champ threes. Who knows? So, so yeah, let's get into it and let's see what we come up against and see what we can learn from today. All right, we got Speedy on our team against Retrack and Maniac Hunter. I'm going to call defending. I like to cheat up on these corner ones just a little bit. Let's try to react to what happens. Oh, I forgot to change my name. This isn't good. Hope no one recognizes me. Because <laughs> there's already been a couple of videos out. I'm going to take it to the side. My teammate just got a kill, so I'm going to try to swing wide and pass this to him. You won't expect the pass, probably. There we go. That was a really good kill. Opened up a lot of space for me, and I had a lot of options. I can either shoot that ball, which he's probably expecting, or I can go for the pass middle. It was really good positioning for my teammate as well. It was a really good job from him to be there. I like that a lot. I'll try to look for my teammate again. I'll pass across. So you're already seeing people will position way more. For passes middle, which is really good. Again, I'm gonna try to pass this back to my teammate. I see his back, he's not middle, so try to set him up for a chance at goal. Give him a couple good passing opportunities. Good try. Take control of the boost here. I'll take this back now. I'll leave it for him. There we go. Another good pass over to my teammate. Good try on that. So I gotta wait. I'm gonna fake challenge again. Try to force out the ball for free. And I can stay with it now. He took the boost, which he shouldn't. He should go rotate behind me there. Try to pop that over that guy. Good try. Maybe double. It's better if my teammate goes down to the ground there. And then tries to jump up for that again. If he's trying to float for that aerial, it's going to be really awkward for him to hit. That was a bad touch for me. I should have gotten more under it. Try to get my teammate really involved with the offense so far in this game. Already. Got him a lot of opportunities. I try to take some shots myself now. Just pop this one on goal. Probably too fast for him. So if the ball's rolling like that toward the place where you want to shoot it, just single jump. Either single jump or backflip into it. As soon as you make contact, backflip, and it's going to give you more power. That's the, the tip for that when it's rolling away from you. You can't flip into that ball. If you flip into it, it's going to roll. They're going to have an easy save. So either single jump or double jump on there. They hit this around this guy. Gonna give me a free chance on a goal here. I'll just drive it in nice and easy. So one big tip in terms of when you're trying to like 1v2 dribble or even 1v3 dribble, uh, which you shouldn't be doing too often, but if you have the space for it, there is no no harm in it. Try to keep the ball with you. Don't flick it away early. If you can get by one player with without having to flick or anything, like do one quick little cut in and get it by one, that's perfect. So you, that's what you want to do. I'm going to go for a bump here. Let's see if this works. Force out a worse touch at least. I know you can't do much of that. But yeah, try to not flick the ball away for as long as possible. Or you're going for 1v2 plays. Try to get by the first guy for free, pretty much. Is uh, how I always look at it. I'll try to show you another example when I can. But it's not hard at all. Like, if you break it down and you don't overthink it. My teammate should let me bring that back there. There's no point of panicking and, and rushing that touch. But I got a kill. He should use me there because I'm wide open. Like, that's where I've been passing to my teammate a lot. I try to go for just a meh shot to deal with that. So I'm going to fake this. Probably going to panic. Again, I got by one for doing absolutely nothing, and I can even try to fake him there. My teammate should be able to come in for a shot. Good job. So that's exactly what I was talking about. Like, I didn't do anything to get by that guy, but I faked him out. Still had full ball control. I had one guy to get by. And I made him get a bad touch to the point where my teammate could just finish it off nice and easy. Try to stay on this ball. I don't want to throw this away. Still looking good on boost. My team is going to take this probably, so I'll wait. Try to follow this one up. It's not going to be in, but it's going to be tough for my teammate. Good save. I'm going to stay behind him here, because if he gets a 50-50, I want to be able to help him out. I'm going to fake challenge here. Force the panic. My teammate can do something as well. Trying to beat him. 
maybe the guard shot. Oh, close. My teammate was up as well. I'm just going to 50. It's fine. I'll try to get a kill here. Open up some space. He's going to have a bang. So I'll leave that for my teammate. Rotate around. I have a lot of space. I know I killed the other guy. Pop it up high. See what they do. He missed. Teammate's kind of panicking as well. Try to just keep faking. See what he does. I might have overdone it with the fakes. <laughs> I just wanted to see how much I did panic in a situation like that. Obviously, I could shoot it, but... I'm trying to get a grasp of how rank, like this rank would react to a situation like that. Played it well. He played it passive. My team is going for a bump, so he didn't panic super hard or anything. Tough spot to be in. Got out of it well. Obviously, I could have just shot it. That's the play there. You have a wide open goal, but... Testing the waters. Two minutes time here. Good job to control that. You want to take your time in a spot like that where no one's challenging you. Always going to be the best play. Try to delay this move. Downfield. Nice. He gave me the ball here. So I'm going to wait for my teammate. He just grabbed boost. Again, I'll check it by this first guy without actually wasting the ball. Or wasting possession. I couldn't do that, so I'll just hit it to the side. Teammate took like both back boosts, I'm pretty sure. Which probably shouldn't have done. Probably should have held onto some of the boost from the first. Get in the way of that. Alright. Again, he's panicking a lot of the times when I still have control of the ball. But at least he's still getting decent touches with it. That's the, the decent part. But he, he should be letting his teammate control it more in the spots for sure. Seeing a lot of the same, same mistakes. Maybe one more touch to the side here. I'm wide open on the side. There we go. I gave him an option by positioning it across. It passes a tad bit slow, so I think against a higher rank opponent, they would have read that pretty easily. Because he was going directly toward like where I was. He was facing me the whole time. You want to swing out wide there, give yourself options. So you can either bang a shot on goal or pass across really quick. And they won't know which one, like I did for the first pass. And there it was just super obvious that he was going to go toward me. But it was just the lack of being able to read it on the, the defenders in there. So we got 17 portion now, so not that many. But we still got a division up to champ 3 there, right? 14.53 now, not too bad. Let's get into the next one. Pretty solid first game. Might even be two more episodes after this. I don't know. It depends how quick we gain points from this point on. But uh, pretty solid stuff. And I think that was a pretty good uh, pretty good game to showcase like how the defense is in these ranks. And you can tell it's getting better. It's getting a lot better than before. Um, but it's still a lot of holes. Especially at the end there, him not being able to read that pass. I'm, I'm very surprised considering it was, it was like super choreographed. You could tell he was going straight toward me with that when he should have tried to give himself more options but again that's just that's just a lack of experience that uh that you notice at this rank i assume but yeah let's get into the next game and let's see how it goes so we got ourselves against actually all low 1400 players i wasn't really looking up by my car bunch of that kickoff so i almost screwed it up it's actually not super high 1400 players i'm actually the highest rank here but my teammate started off with the bang there that was good positioning from him See how he comes out wide there and gives me an option to pass. And then he hits the, the redirect wall. Best thing there though is that he gave me that option. So I have it if I need to use it. And they have to be worried about that option. I'm going to try to fake. There we go. I got by the first guy for free like I was talking about. I'm going to try to pass this off to the side. Maybe go for a bump there. Obviously I could have got a better pass. Or even just a shot off the, the dribble. But I want to use my teammates more. Good pass. And again I gave him that option. Good job. To look for me there. Like I said, if you are positioned in a, in a spot like that where you can get a shot off the pass, they have to be worried about you. Even if you're not using that play, like he can go for a solo play there, but they're going to be worried about me. That's the good thing about positioning there. They don't even need to use you and it's still a threat. Try to just stay in front of this ball here. Good 50s. I could go for a shot. I'll try one, I guess. Not on target, but at least it gave my team an opportunity. Ooh, I was late to that and I got a bad touch. Tried to go with the backboard. I'm trying to block him. Got the boost. I can head back. I'll try to hold on to my full boost here. There we go. Good beat. And for those empty nets, just a tip. I mean, if you have a lot of time, just get above the ball as much as possible. Just get it fast. Be above the ball. That way you don't sky it. Because when I was starting out for the first couple hundred hours and I'd have empty nets, I would just hit it at crossbar. It's because I was just trying to boom it for some reason when you should really just be 
trying your absolute best to just get that shot on target. My teammate's really solid, by the way. He's giving me a lot of opportunities, so he's playing well. Lowest rank in here, and he seems like the most solid player out of all of them. But yeah, like I was saying, for empty nest, just try to get above the ball as much as possible. That's the main tip I'd give you. Don't worry about the placement, just worry about getting it low and, and fast. So you can beat the the returning defender. This guy's giving up. Alright, I think at this point I should just let them 1v1. Or, I don't know if the play is to make them forfeit or let them 1v1 here. But this guy gave up already. He's mad, I guess. I'll, I'll go have fun with them in, in goal. We can inspect it a 1v1. People like you that make the world a better place. Well, I'm just trying to mount him. Oh, he's not even letting me mount him, dude. At least let me have some fun. I don't know why people do this. I mean, it it was it was still a winnable game. He started doing this when there was a three goal difference. I'm pretty sure it was three zero when he started doing this. So definitely a very bad mentality. And this is a player who's. Only stunting his own growth, I feel like, if you're someone who's doing this. Tactical bumps there, just holding them down in goal. But yeah, you're only, only stunting your own growth as a player if you're someone who's going to have that mentality. You know what I mean? What do you gain in a situation like this where you're losing and you just give up? What do you really gain? I think he's back. I'm going to try to just get this on goal. Thank you. Good touch for him. Again, like, I have a lot of space here. I know I just need to not bang this super high. So I just try to get above the ball as much as I could while still getting power on it. If you're above it, the ball's going to only go below where the tip of your car is. Whereas if you're below it, you don't really have the same level of control. Nice. Right, I hope these guys forfeit. This game's getting out of hand. That guy kind of ruined it, though. It, it would have been a better game, for sure. But, I mean, throughout this entire road to Grand Champ, man, we've seen, considering we've only played, like, less than 30 games, I think it's been less than 30 games so far, we've seen so many toxic players, man. Like, way too many, and it, it's it's pretty bad. But even then, if you compare this game to a game like CSGO, like, it doesn't even come close. There's, there's way more toxic people in a game like that, obviously. But still, man, like, there's no reason to have that mentality. If you're playing to improve or you're playing to have fun... Being toxic is is never the the way to go, man. Ever. So I don't know. I just don't see what you gain from that. You're wasting everyone's time in the lobby as well. Like why? I don't know. I don't get it. And this is someone who's obviously put a decent amount of time into this game. If they're if they're champ three, like they've obviously put a decent amount of time into this game, right? And then the second the game starts going badly, they just give up. And I guarantee you, he he typed some like shit talking words to his teammate before all of this as well. Even though there's really nothing they could have done. I mean, they could have defended better, but. Regardless, they're probably going to get scored on in most of the situations early on in this game. Right, what are you going to do? Game's a wash, unfortunately. My teammate was really solid, though. I, I do like his positioning. And I think we should play one more game, just because this game was not the greatest. But yeah, while there is this off time here... Wait, what did he say? Your words hurt so much, can't you explain. So yeah, he's probably trash-talking him. Right now as well. I don't know why people are like that, man. I really don't get it. But uh, I was going to say, thank you guys so much for all the support, man. Like, seriously, I, I can't believe the amount of growth that the channel has seen over the last little bit. And uh, yeah, honestly, can't thank you guys enough. It, it's been crazy to look at everything. I mean, there's so many of you guys that have been saying you've been watching my content for, for a long time. Didn't even realize... That you weren't subbed and you subbed and I'm, I'm seeing all of you guys finally hit the sub button. 
because the number is going up crazy quick lately. And it's crazy to think that, like, before even half the year is done, we might even reach a million subs, which is, is so crazy to me that before the start of this year, like, it was projected that I would reach a million subs, like, five years from now at my current growth rate. And <laughs> that's just crazy that we sped that up so much quicker and it's all thanks to you guys thank you so much for making that possible honestly and i, I can't wait to get the series after this one started because there's so much so much so much so much content that i want to get out to you guys that i think you'll enjoy so much like especially this series i'm gonna do immediately after this i can't wait to announce what it is like i really can't wait i think you guys are gonna love it i haven't even tested it out it's a completely original idea i haven't tested it out yet but i think it's gonna be a really good idea and I think you guys are gonna love it. So I can't wait to get around to that. And I'm, I've just got like this huge spike in motivation for content and what I wanna do for this channel. Thank you guys so much for, for being part of that. Seriously, every single one of you guys who's been subscribed to me for the entirety of my like seven year YouTube career. I've been doing YouTube since way before Rocket League, but no one really watched me back then. I had like 2000 subscribers back then, which is still like, it was crazy to me back then but looking at where we, we've got to now, it's like, damn. Like, that's, it, it's nuts, man, how long we've been doing this, right? So, everyone that's been here for that entire journey, thank you. And everyone who's joining along in the journey to uh, helping us reach a million and beyond, I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for being a part of it. And I hope you guys will continue to enjoy all the content that I put out your way. But yeah. Um, I apologize for that game on his behalf on the other team. I didn't want to say his name to give him attention, but apologize for that game and his bad behavior. But really good job for my teammate. He played really well. He's trying to party up with me. I don't think I should, though. I should stick to uh, stick to the roots of this series, trying to get to Grand Champ. Solo queued. My teammate's really good. Like I think he's really good for this rank. Um... So I don't really want to queue them. I think that's a slightly unfair advantage because you're not going to find a teammate that's as solid as him. And I also don't know if he's super solid or if they were just like not good together at all. But I think he was playing well in, in all honesty. So I, I don't want to I don't want to party up with him. That's against the whole point of the series, the solo queue. And he is solid. And I'm not going to find a champ three as solid as him every single time. So we're better off to just go alone. But for, we're going to play one more game for today. And we're at 1470 MMR after that. We got 16 points. So, yeah, we're getting about 16 to 17 points a game right now. It's pretty solid. That should mean that I'm guessing within the next five wins we'd reach Grand Champ if we win every single one. So, let's uh, let's get into the next and see if we can add another 16, 17 points to that. And also see what we can learn out of the game as well. Alright, so we're playing against a higher, uh, higher champ 3 now. I should be cheating on that ball probably, but it's fine. Everyone in here is also champ 3. One of them going for an air dribble. Good read for my teammate. We got a question mark profile, so my teammate might might possibly be a Smurf. We'll see. Nice touch from him. Teammate should have us on the wall. I'm gonna trust his hit. Okay, I shouldn't trust it. I guess. Almost followed up though. I mean, it's the right play to trust that, but I don't think people are still consistent enough to hit those every single time. They'll probably hit it like two out of ten. Three out of ten times. Um, just depends on how awkward it is, I guess. Touch it one more time. He's probably gonna jump on this. Good touch to the side. I mean, not the best, but you got the job done. We'll try to hit this there. I bet I can follow it up. One more. It's fine. Couldn't quite reach. Try to go for something. To get it middle. Good challenge. I know I have space here, so I'm gonna go with the left wall with this. And I'm gonna try to kill time to look for my teammate middle. Give him a good pass. Good 50. I'm gonna wait on this. I'm gonna pop this up. I'm gonna look and then I'm gonna just try to hit this on the backboard. Let's see what they do. If he misses, I'll go for a double. I'm just gonna go for a Borno double touch there to see if it worked. He's gonna have a touch here, so I'll wait middle. I'm trying to pre position for that. I know I have space, so I'm gonna try to use it here. I'll let him come to me. Again, I got him out of the play just by a single jump there, and now I have a one-on-one. -on -one. I've given myself a 1v1, and I can get that by the last guy very easily. Like That's what I was mentioning in the first game of this video. Sign, please. Uh-oh. Does he know? Does he know it's me? 
That's what I was mentioning in the first game of this video, is that, um... I saw you chamfering. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's on to me. What do I say? Um, I was saying, like, the, um... 2v1 dribbles and stuff. You're trying to get one person out of the play for free, right? Without having to throw away your position or throwing away the ball early. That's exactly what we did there. Try, trying to get away of that. He missed, which is fine. I got a bump on one. All right, so I know I have space here. I'm gonna look for my teammate on the left side. Should I pass off to him? Trying to use our teammates some more in this episode to see how ready they are for passes and stuff. Because in earlier ranks, they weren't ready for passes pretty much at all. It was very rare if you saw someone being ready. Tried to go for the bump to help him out, but couldn't quite. Went for the flip reset. I like to see that. I'm going to say, I don't know what you're talking about. With that switch point. <laughs> it's changed, by the way. <laughs> I don't know what to say, dude. Yeah, laugh one on goal. Oh, he missed. So people are still fly buying. Was that the the higher rank? Oh, it was a lower rank one. Lower rank C three, but he's still still up there. Still not quite comfortable with the. Uh... Still uncomfortable when the ball goes over your head. I feel like I keep stop stopping my sentence and it's bothering me. <laughs> So I'm thinking about so many things. All right, I'm gonna wait here. Once I know that it's okay to go for, I'll just hit it around that guy. He jumped a little bit too far behind. I can go back now. Take some pads here. Tried to go off the top there. Just because I had some time. Like I know the shot's gonna be high, at least in the upper half of the goal. And it's much easier to have control over how are you going to bang the ball away when you go up that way? That's why I originally started doing that. Notice it would be very useful if you can uh, throw it in the right times. I'm going to fake the ceiling shot here. Oh, I went for the bat. <laughs> I don't want to shoot that quite yet. I'm going to try to try to pass this middle here. Give my teammate an option if he wants to go, that's fine. I'll actually get patience. I like that he waited on that because he wasn't in a position to shoot quite yet. Yeah, I'm trying to push out for his touch here. I'm going to look. I know I have space. I'm going to try to just toss a, a shot on goal. Don't need to throw away that ball early. If he was challenging me aggressively though, that's when I would flick that early. So it's all dependent on what they do, obviously. Hello, YouTube. Hello, Hoopsie. All right, I'm looking at my teammate. He's on the right side. Pass it over to him. Good try. That was a good dunk for them. Job to, to read that. I really like that he read that there. That's what I was talking about in one of the previous games. They weren't reading the passes that were obvious. Yeah, it's a pretty obvious pass, but I wanted to use my teammate because he's positioning for which I like as well. I like to see that. It's a little bit wide, and my teammate's far back, so I'll hit out the backboard for him. Even though I could shoot, I want to give him an option to shoot as well. I could probably get that on target if I like really wanted to, but it, it's definitely a tougher shot. I think it's best bet to hit that off the backboard, especially if you're playing higher ranked players. They're going to be ready for the immediate shot, but off the backboard, it's definitely going to be more awkward for them to deal with. I'm gonna stay on the right side if my teammate wants to use me. Oftentimes what I notice too is if you pass your teammate a couple times throughout the game, they're gonna look for you as well. But if no one passes, like if you don't pass at all, they're not gonna pass to you is what I noticed. No one wants to be the first to pass, what I often notice in solo queue. I pass to him. I'm gonna look on the right side to be open for the pass. Try to just go for that in case the opponent went, so I would've beat him to it. I'm gonna pre-jump. You missed. Yeah, people still definitely lack aerial control. And I don't know if I should play like one or two games while in Grand Champ just to see if there's a difference at low Grand Champ. 
But I can tell people still lack like aerial control and the ability to read the game. Even at this rank, I drop him a, a heart. He's a cool dude. Um, but yeah, after that, we finished off at Champion 3 Division 4. So maybe it is 1500. I don't know, to be honest. But we'll leave that for the next video. Because regardless, if it is 1500 or if it's 1515, if you win two games, gaining 15 plus a game will be at uh, Grand Champ regardless after next video. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. And maybe I'll play even one more set of two games after that just to see how low grand champions as well but yeah hope you guys enjoyed i think we learned a lot out of this uh this set of games here especially when it comes to like 2v1 dribbles that's a big tip guys if you are looking to do 2v1 3v1 dribbles try to get the ball with you for as long as possible don't throw it away for as long as you possibly can that's the ultimate tip in terms of trying to dribble out a whole team which you should be doing too often only when you absolutely have to obviously or if your teammate's not there in support with you that's what your option is at that point just try to go alone um, so that's a big tip for that. And in terms of just positioning for your teammate, give them that option. If they don't want to use you, they don't need to use you, but it still threatens the other team. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I can't wait to get this series over with and give you guys the rest of the tips in terms of reaching Grand Champ for yourself. And after that, get into the next one, the next series, which I'm super hype about, like I've been talking about, but we'll worry about that when it comes. But yeah, guys, before I say bye, thank you so much again for all the support. I appreciate y'all so much. If you're not subscribed right now, please go down below the video, press the subscribe button. Let's get to 1 million subs before the end of the year. Let's do this thing. We're doing insanely well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate y'all. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.